boys and girls, Bruce here with a really quick logic tip. Been a while since I did one of these, but this is one of the, the, the most useful tips I've found, and it's what's known as in other applications as deleting hole or deleting a gap. It's where you want to say delete a region, if you see this region here, out of your sound file, and you want that to move up. Now, there are a number of ways of doing it in logic, but I tend to use the marquee tool. Uh, yeah, so we do that. And I have a key command set up, which is command J, which is the same as what it is in Digital Performer, which is something I've done a lot of audio editing in the past. So I've made the key commands the same. So if I do command J, boom, that has gone and that has moved up. It's great when you're editing loads of audio, uh, say um, dialogue and things like that, such as a podcast. And it's really, really handy. You can use uh, this here where you have sh shuffle left and shuffle right. I'll just reset that to what it is i will do this and i'll set this to shuffle left and you'll see what happens oops shuffle left if i delete that the file moves left but it actually brings everything left i, I don't like to have this because sometimes i forget to move turn it off and if you move that it'll always kind of link back to where it is so it's a great command but i find deleting the hole is a much you thing so where do we do this how do we set this up so the command you're looking for is if you start typing in delete is delete and move that is what you need to set up and i like i say i assign it to a key command you can assign that to any key you want command j as i said because of digital performer but that is it nice and simple and you can just quickly let's reset all this um Go through marquee bits and pieces. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Let's say I want to take this little bit out. That's a cough. I don't have to do lots and lots of editing, cutting and pasting, or, or scissoring out certain areas using the marquee tool. Because if you don't do that, if you just do that standardly, what I'm doing now is I'm just selecting area and I'm pressing delete. It just leaves a gap, and there's no way to get rid of that gap apart from drip, drop, um, dragging the whole file. So I hope you found that really useful. I know I do. It's a massive time saver. Catch you later.